guys, it's me. I'm just going to show you my Hasbro collection. Okay, so I just want to start off with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, which was one of my um ones that I pretty much got. Now he came with a stick, as you can see, and he does this. Next up is Razor Ramon. He didn't come with the gold, I got him in loose. And same thing with um, another figure that's going to be after this, and his clothes on. Alright. The figure that did not come with his necklace was Papa Shango, and dang, it's a pretty good figure, and he's a godfather of nobody knew. He's got rocket punch thing. Okay, next up is going to be... Typhoon. Now, I don't understand why he has such a weird face. But he just came like that. And, uh, usually what fat guys do, they do this. Not very awesome, but. Valentine. Now, he looks like he's in an alliance or something. I don't know if you could see, whatever. But, um, this is Greg the Hammer Valentine. Is the hammer, and he does very hard clothesline, which I really think he does good, because he is the hammer. Alright, next up is Bruce the Barber Beefcake in one of his styles when he was probably in the Hulkamaniacs. And he does the wind-up punch and it's pretty loose so you just get to pull it back and just go like punch really fast. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Hasbro figures are not really Knocks over, that's okay. Okay, next up is Repo Man. And uh, he's got a couple of tattoos, it's pretty cool. He hops like that. He was able to. Next up is Akeem. And uh, I didn't know what he does at first, now I do. So, uh, just does a headbutt. And I'm gonna place him right here. Next up is uh, one that I got not too long ago, but I got Rick Rude. And he does the uh, headlock punch. That's cool. Sorry, Bruce doesn't really want to stand up. Okay, I'm just going to land down. Who cares? Alright, next up is one of my favorites in the WWF. Jake the Snake Roberts. Now, he's kind of loose because he just does. And, you know, his thing's a little bit rusty. And, yes, he does do rocket punch. Same thing like, uh... Papa Shango, when he doesn't stand straight. Okay, next up is, I got two more singles, and now I'll go on to my tag teams. I got three. Alright, first, okay, it's um, the Ultimate Warrior, which I got last before any anyone. So, this is my last one I got, but I'm still going to collect. Yeah, it's the lift up. This is my first lift up figure. I don't have much. And finally, Kona Crush, my favorite Hasbro figure. And he does the wind-up punch. 
which is cool. Shorts, I didn't know he had shorts. I know you know. Okay, on to the tag teams. First off is the Bushwhackers. Not too bad, but he just does this. Sometimes I make him dance to the music or whatever. Now next up is this guy, Luke and Butch. I need to stop. Okay, next up is the Rockers, which I think they look very good in green and blue, and blue stripes. Alright, so, Sean just jumps his top, and Marty, he does a, like, thing, and if you held him like this, you could probably get a low drop kick. Okay, last but certainly not least, but my favorite tag team, the Steiner Brothers. Now, I know they didn't really come in a two-pack or anything, but Scott is my favorite Hasbro figure. Then Kona, and then Ultimate Warrior. Now, Rick, he looks very good in his suit. Look at it. It's awesome. Rick Steiner is like... Rick and, um, Rick and Scott were like one of my... First ones I got next to Hacksaw, but I lost them. So then he went to my seventh or eighth. So I'll put him right here. And Scott, he looks very good in this suit. I love it. So he has pink on one side and blue and some pink and purple on the other. So he has wind up punch. And Scott looks awesome, man. You gotta love this. Okay, guys, so thanks for looking at my uh, Hasbro figure. Comment, subscribe, see if you like or hate it, and uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.